Hey YouTube, it's Craig here and I'm back with a new video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about the brush fountain pen by Ferris Wheel Press. So let's get right into it. All right, you guys, so we are checking out the brush pen by Ferris Wheel Press. I actually picked up this Lord Evergreen fountain pen back at M. Lovewell last summer, back in July when I went to M. Lovewell, but it retails for about $98. They're on sale right now. And this color was at the time, the last one. I don't think they actually have them in stock right now either, but they do little editions of these pens and their colors. But this is the Lord Evergreen. I'm a big fan of green. I'm wearing the green Red Wing Mock Toe boots right now. And I'm wearing an olive green chore coat from Bradley Mountain right now. That's kind of my thing. As you know, with 173 Broadway, I love green. That's my color. So I had to pick out the green fountain pen. Write history. Here's the pen. On the back side does have instructions, care instructions. Thank you for supporting Canadian design and craftsmanship. I really do enjoy the packaging quite a bit. And here's the pen, Ferris Wheel Press. Fall in love with writing again. I never have lost my love for writing. Little maple leaf on there. And this is in the Lord Evergreen colorway. And it just has this brass nut on there. So there is no chance of this thing rolling away on your desktop, your tabletop. And it is this nice metal lacquered pen. And I got it in a fine. And what's kind of interesting about this pen is it's not marked as fine on the nib, but it is marked as fine on the grip section. I don't know if you can replace the nibs on these, but if you ever did, you'd just still have the fine on the grip section, which is a little strange. It has a plastic feed and it looks like a Bach nib with Ferris wheel press on it with a little five and six on there. I'm not sure what that is for designed in Canada. It is a very polarizing feeling. Since this is all engraved in here, you can really feel the engraving. It's on a smooth grip section. It's very grippy because of that, but it is almost like a chalkboard feeling. I don't know if I like it. It's a very, almost like sandpaper feeling. And if you're writing for a long time or something with a pen, you want this to be comfortable and I just don't find this brass grip section comfortable. But that being said, you unscrew the barrel and you have a converter on the back with rat-a-tat-tat all over the place on there. So we're gonna fill this guy up in a moment, but it's this nice lacquered full brass pen. It says not to post it, but you could technically post it. I don't see anything wrong with posting it, but to, so you don't scratch the lacquer on there, they recommend that you don't post it. But there is a plastic seal on the inside of the cap. But a pretty simple pen. It's called the brush because it's supposed to emulate a paintbrush with its design. I'm gonna use Lamy Peridot with this green pen. Love that green. Really submerge the section in there. There we go. Nice, decent fill. Back in. It's a steel nib. There is no line variation. And if you are coming from like a Japanese pen, it writes more like a medium. This is a pretty standard European fine. And I'm using Lamy Crystal. Peridot. Dries pretty quickly. Oh wow, that just sprayed some ink out of there. Dries pretty fast. Reverse. Works pretty okay, you know, if you want a super fine dry line, you can do reverse, it's just not recommended. Thank you. 
a little bit of quick, quick brown fox. Really nice. There's no hard starting uh, right out of the box. There's no ink issues, no ink flow problems. This thing really has a nicely tuned nib. I just don't like the grip section. I think the grip section just feels, ah, it's just hard to explain. It just doesn't feel good. I'd rather have a smooth grip section than this thing all over it, but it's brass. So I'm hoping that it patinas over time, which will look kind of cool but there's just some ridges, you know? It's, it's probably laser engraved. I don't know, it's too grippy, but it feels good. It's a nice light pen. I think it's a really solid pen. It has nice construction. I just, you know, if you wanted to switch out the nibs later on, you still are kind of stuck with having the fine on there. So I really don't like that at all. I know on M Lovewell, they have a couple of colors available that are a little bit cheaper. So $75, I think is a much better price for this pen than the $100 that I paid for it. I'll look forward to seeing how this thing patinas over time. I think it's a nice pen. I think it appeals more to someone who like journals more than someone who is a um, pen collector. It's a fairly young company. They've been designing products for over 10 years, but that's still pretty young when it comes to stationery and that sort of thing. You look at Pilot, they've been around forever. I think it's a fine pen. And thanks for checking out the video, you guys. And that's the video. Thanks so much for you guys for checking it out. If you have any questions about the pen, go and leave a comment down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more content like this and check out my Instagram at Creek Reconova, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. All right, peace.